Online influencers offering investment tips are a serious risk to your wealth. I had to come on and talk about this after a video started doing the rounds on Twitter shared by the at TikTok investors account. On first watch, it's hard to tell if this is a parody or not, but worryingly, it does seem to be real. Here's the offending section of that video. Here's my strategy in a nutshell. I see a stock going up and I buy it and I just watch it until it stops going up and then I sell it and I do that over and over and it pays for our whole lifestyle. If only I had realized during my 20 year career in financial services that making money from investments was this easy. You see a stock going up, you buy it, you keep watching it until it stops going up and then you sell it and you do that over and over again and you make shed loads of money. Of course, investing doesn't work like this. Stocks don't level off at a convenient price and then give you sufficient time to execute a trade so you can sell out at a healthy profit. Stocks are volatile. They move quickly. They are unpredictable. In this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of things. I want to look at this fallacy of market timing. This belief that you can sell and buy investments at the right time every time. It's utter I'm also going to talk about this pernicious online influencer movement that's growing up around investing. These people have got no place sharing their views on stock market trading. They've got no relevant experience, qualifications, and they're demonstrating very little understanding of how things actually work. Chad and Jenny, oh dear, 116,000 followers on TikTok, 95,000 views and counting on this utter nonsense video about how they make their money. Here's that video in full, it's only quite short. So how do we make money from home? For starters, this is not a sponsored video, we just get this question all the time and honestly the answer is really simple. So basically I just trade stocks on an app called Robinhood, which I left a link in our bio if you want to check it out. It's free to download, free to sign up, they actually give you a free stock so they're paying you to sign up um, but again not sponsored and I know trading sounds intimidating here's my strategy in a nutshell I see a stock going up and I buy it and I just watch it until it stops going up and then I sell it and I do that over and over and it pays for our whole lifestyle um, if you're wondering how much you can make doing this in this month I turned about 400 into 14,000 and in this month I turned less than a thousand into 20,000 and honestly, my favorite part about this isn't even the amount of money you can make, but just the fact that we don't have to go to a nine to five job. Yeah, we can focus on things that we actually enjoy doing. So if you have friends that like wanna make money from home, you can tag them or send them a link. Or if you make money this way, share it in the comments so other people know like there's more people doing this now. As I just ranted slightly in my introduction, this is not how investing works. Since the onset of the pandemic, we've seen younger investors flock to trading apps like Robinhood in the US, often encouraged by so-called online influencers. While Chad reminds us a couple of times in that video that it's not sponsored, there is conveniently an affiliate link to Robinhood in their TikTok bio. When you watch their nonsense about making big money by buying into stocks at a rising in price and then selling at the top, and you click on that affiliate link, you're making them money each time. That is how they're funding their lifestyle, not by consistently profiting on their speculative trades. This whole Robin Hood movement in the pandemic is good and is bad. It's good because it's introducing a whole new generation of investors to the world of finance. That's a good thing. It's bad because it's happened during a period of rising stock prices. These newbie investors believe they are skilled when all they are is lucky. Time in the market is one of those things that sounds great in theory, but it falls over in practice. It falls over each and every time. The concept is pretty simple. You sell at the top and you buy at the bottom and you make a fantastic profit in doing so. The trouble is, where is the top and where is the bottom? I don't know. I've been doing this for 20 plus years now and I still don't know. Investment professionals don't know. There isn't a single investment fund manager in the world with all their years of experience and fancy qualifications who can consistently time the market. If I don't know, and I do this stuff for a living, and the professionals don't know, what do you think the chances are that Chad and Jenny know? Academic study after academic study tells us that market timing is a fallacy. There was a 2017 study by the Center for Retirement Research at Boston College. The study looked at a type of investment fund called a target date fund. This is designed to gradually reduce risk as the retirement date approaches. It reduces risk by moving from equities to bonds. This gradual reduction in riskier assets is known as the glide path. 
The academics behind this study used target date funds because, occasionally, the fund managers would spot an opportunity to time the market. Rather than follow the glide path and de-risk the fund on schedule, they thought they could spot a short-term opportunity to profit. What the researchers found was that target date funds that deviated from their glide path underperformed their peers by 0.141% each year. By trying to time the market, they lost money. 0.141% doesn't sound like much, does it? But investing is a long-term gain, and losses like these, they compound over time. Assume that you invested in one of these target date funds for 30 years, and it underperformed its peers by 0.141% a year. You end up losing about 3.8% of the value of your investment. That's the pros losing money when they attempt to time the market. What about the amateurs? What about the online influencers who live out the back of a van and try to convince you to become day traders by sharing their Robinhood affiliate links. Well, it turns out they do a lot, lot worse. A 2016 study, the Dalbar Quantitative Analysis of Investor Behaviour Study, looked at how equity mutual fund investors did. Um, it looked at this during a period when the S&P 500 index posted a small gain in 2015. The S&P that year went up by 1.38%, and the average equity mutual fund investor, well, they lost 2.28%. That same study looks at the annualised return between 1996 and 2015, which was 8.19% a year for the S&P 500 index, and a slightly less impressive 4.67% a year for the average equity mutual fund investor. So they still made money, on average, each year, but they underperformed the index. The index that they could have bought into at a fraction of the cost of trying to trade stocks or funds. Just imagine that investor started with £100,000. Their pot would have grown to £249,000 before taxes over 20 years, whilst enjoying that 4.67% annual rate of return. However, the S&P 500 index investor earning 8.19% a year would have ended up with nearly twice as much, £483,000. My friend Carl Richards explains this best in one of his sketches, buy high, sell low, repeat until broke. Because that's what's going to happen if you convince yourself that you've somehow become a master investor who can spot stocks that are rising in value, ride that wave all the way to the top, and then sell out before they go down in price. This business of online influencers pushing people towards stock or day trading is scary, scary stuff. Earlier this week, the Financial Conduct Authority updated its consumer warning about an unauthorized online trader who's using Instagram. This account is known as Chloe FX Trades, Chloe Hen X, or X Chloe's World. If you use Instagram or other social media platforms, there is a good chance that you've come across X Chloe's World or similar unauthorized online traders who are using the platforms. The FCA has actually asked Instagram to remove this account, but at the time that I'm recording this video, several versions of that account are still online, suckering in their victims. I suspect for the FCA, it's a bit like playing whack-a-mole. They deal with one of these accounts and another quickly appears in its place. The FCA warns that UK consumers are being increasingly targeted by investors investment scams carried out by online trading platforms where fraudsters offer trades in foreign exchange, contracts for difference, and crypto assets such as Bitcoin. These are often promoted via social media. In terms of how these work, the fraudsters promise high returns and they use fake images of luxury items or luxury lifestyles to lure their victims into their scams. The scams use either a managed account where the firm makes trades on their behalf or by trading themselves on the firm's platform. They may also ask for consumers to message them privately to hear about the investment opportunity and invest that way. So trading signals is one term I see often used. That's always a huge red flag, by the way, when someone asks you to private message them for details always a scammer in my experience. The FCA says that most consumers report initially receiving some returns from the firm to give them the impression that their trading has been a success. They will then be encouraged to invest more money or introduce a friend or family member to invest as well. However, eventually the returns stop, the customer's account gets suspended, and there's no further contact with the firm. They lose everything. If they've convinced friends and family to invest as well, they lose everything too. And that would make for a rather awkward situation, wouldn't it? It's worth noting that the FCA doesn't have any special powers to compel social media platforms or indeed search engine providers to remove scam investment content like this, but they do ask us all to report these investment scams when they pop up 
on our social media feeds. That means they can issue warnings and they can also request the content is taken down. When you see investment content on social media platforms, don't touch it with a barge pole. The most common scams I see on there relate to stock trading, including using platforms like Robinhood, options or derivatives trading, foreign exchange Forex, and crypto assets like Bitcoin. Each time I post a video here on YouTube, the comment section gets absolutely flooded with messages from scammers trying to promote their WhatsApp trading signal services. I always do my best to delete these as quickly as I can each and every time. Have no doubt that these scammers work very hard to separate you from your cash. They often set up multiple fake accounts so they can add fake testimonials to their comments, talking about how well the scams have worked, but it is all a scam. These so-called influencers do not have your best interests at heart. They are trying to get rich by exploiting your naivety. That is all. You can make money by investing, but it's a long-term endeavor. It's not a daily, weekly, or monthly activity. It's not a way to fund your van life, but it's best measured in years or decades. Successful investors are not buying and selling stocks through the Robinhood app each day. They invest and they leave their money alone. Please don't get suckered in by scammers or influencers who are trying to convince you that their claimed lifestyle is within reach. It's not. I love wasting a bit of my time watching TikTok videos and Instagram reels, but people dabbling in the world of investing or trading have got no place on these platforms. Block them, report them, and move on with your life. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, I'm Martin Bamford, and remember, when it comes to your money, the more you know, the faster it can grow.